Hey there, everybody, it's your boy, Flipper Frank. <laughs> I noticed that there's a trend out there with people making top 10 videos and award shows online, so I figured, what the hell, I got internet, I'll throw my hat in the ring too, except I'm gonna cut out all that boring fanboy shit and get to the meat of what figure collecting is all about, making that money. <laughs> Woo! So what are the Flippies? Flippies are an award show I just made up last night while I was getting a hot and ready at Little Caesars for me and my mom. Works like this. We go through all the main toy lines and give the awards to the figure in that line that flips for the most money. That's why this is the best award show because it is all mathematical and it teaches you, the viewer, how to make money like me. <laughs> My award show is not just about patting each other on the back, but about getting you those stats. Anyway, I thought I'd slap this award show together. Hey, speaking of slap, remember when this happened? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he slapped the guy, that reference never gets old. Anyway, let's make this a quick one and start off with a bang with the G.I. Joe classified line. Now, this is a line that has made a lot of money in the past. And as long as the distribution keeps on being a mess and Hasbro keeps up their $50 VIP line, it'll continue. And here to announce the nominees for the most flippable G.I. Joe classified figure. Yeah, we got special guests here is the Croc Master. Croc Master, take it away. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I, Croc Master, am here to announce the nominees for most flippable G.I. Joe classified of 2022. And the nominees are Dr. Mindbender, Serpentor, and Tiger Force Outback. And the winner is Serpentor. Congratulations, Serpentor. And Flipper Frank failed to put me on the list next time, and it shall be extremely painful for you. Goodbye. Thanks a lot there, Croc Master. Hey, anybody ever tell you that you sound just like Bane? <laughs> that Serpentor was a really good pick, okay? I made a $60 net profit of that. That's why that deserves the very first annual Flippy Award. <laughs> Moving on to Star Wars, we got a very, very special guest. I don't even know how I booked this guy. This is Hollywood's own Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg, take it away. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Mark Wahlberg. People don't know this, but I was the original choice to play the Mandalorian before that other guy. But they wanted me to hide my face and keep my shirt on the whole time. So I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm the guy who takes his fucking shirt off. Otherwise, why am I even lifting weights in a galaxy far, far away? Anyway, the nominees for most flippable Star Wars figure of 2022 are Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker from the Mandalorian. Star Wars Black Series Boba Fett in Disguise. And Star Wars Black Series Pass Vizsla. And the winner is Boba Fett in disguise. Congrats, Boba Fett. Hopefully his shirt is removable. Double suns out, double guns out. That's what I always say. Peace. How about that? You see, we got stars too. It's just like the Oscars. <laughs> hey, speaking of Oscars, remember when this happened? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that uh, Boba Fett in disguise, that was a real good flip. I made about... 35 to 40 dollars off of that one and the shipping was pretty cheap which i like too moving on next up we are heading into the mysterious land of eternity to go over the masters of the universe but i ain't going alone because i got my buddy me fisto to go over these nominees me fisto take it away thank you very much frankie hello everyone it's me fisto like many collectors i know what it's like to get fisted by flippers and toy companies so without further ado the nominees for most flippable Masters of the Universe figure of 2022 are Camo Khan, Koldar, and Wandar. And the winner is Camo Khan. Big congrats to you, Camo Khan. This has been me, Fisto, wishing you good fistings in 2023. Cheers! Great pick, great pick, and deserving of that flippy. I got about 20 of those camo cons online, made a $95 profit on each one. Woo! I bought my mom some extra breadsticks that night. All right, next up, we're going into Marvel Legends. Now, uh, this might be the first and last time the Marvel Legends shows up on a flippy because they're raising their prices more and more, and it's real hard for me to make any kind of money off that. So let's just go into it with our next presenter, Mr. Happy Toy Guy Review Guy. Take it away, buddy. Hey everybody, it's me, Happy Toy Guy Review Guy, coming to you from a Mexican prison, and I'm here to present the award for most flippable Marvel Legends toy by Hasbro. 
But first, I just want to say that all these nominees are winners because Hasbro never, ever misses. Let them know I said that. <laughs> no, seriously, I need free stuff. Anyway, the nominees are Retro Card Lizard, Walmart Exclusive Cell Shaded Spider-Man, and the HasLab Galactus. And the winner is the HasLab Galactus. Congrats, Galactus! You won big this year. Just like my ex-wife won big in the divorce. But the joke's on her because the Federales confiscated it all. Viva la Mexico! This has been Happy Toy Guy Review Guy. Adios! Okay, good pick, good pick. That was a big boy, okay? I couldn't move in my living room. I just had stacks of those Galactuses. I've made about... 50 to 200 dollars now the the price swing is because uh you have to kind of get in right when they came out uh, the prices have dropped since release but when you got in when the getting was good man you made a freaking killing so uh good job on galactus getting that flippy award okay so the next award is kind of a freebie award this is the best offer up meeting place award when you're flipping figures a lot of times you gotta meet other people you gotta meet them in person you gotta meet them in the wild so i'm gonna go ahead and give the nominations myself since i do this a lot for the best places to meet up for offer up deals and the nominees are westwood mall food court alley behind the shake shack and the downtown la parking garage at night and the winner is the alley behind the Shake Shack. Woo! <laughs> really good pick. And one of my favorite spots. Nice and secluded. So if you get desperate enough to close that deal, what happens behind the Shake Shack? Stays behind the Shake Shack. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay, so uh, next up, uh, we were going to do the uh, Super 7 Thundercats and Super 7 TMNT Awards, but uh, I lost money on all my Super 7 stuff this year. Took a bath on it, so I can't in good consciousness give it a flippy award. So we're just going to go ahead and move on. All right, next up, we got mythic legions by the four horsemen this one is a little tricky because you can't get it at target can't get it at walmart my favorite spots but there is still money to be made so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and announce the nominees for most flippable mythic legions but i don't have any mythic legions characters so let's just give this to uh leatherhead hello everybody it's your favorite alligator leatherhead and i'm here to present the award for most flippable mythic legions i have no idea what a mythics or a legions is but i know something about flipping like flipping delicious crawdads on the grill before they go into my stomach ha <laughs> ha so the nominees are god damn they gave me the longest names figura obscura headless horseman legions con exclusive the unknown one and the Legion's Con exclusive, Furious 4. And the winner is... Figura Obscura Headless Horseman. Congrats on your win, Headless Guy. Now, I'm gonna head back to the bio. This has been Leatherhead, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Get it? Because it's a flipping award. Bye-bye. All right, good pick, good pick. I made about 50 to $80 off of that Headless Horseman, mostly because when it first came out, it was real hot. The FOMO on that was real strong, and I just rode the wave to Cash Town. Now, this next award doesn't really have to do with flipping, but it has to do with best YouTube toy personality. <laughs> I know a guy that might like this one. Nominees, as voted by the fans, are the Mad Hatter. Uh, oh, my God. Second nominee, also the Mad Hatter. And third nominee, the Mad Hatter. This is crazy. And the winner is... Articulated Ninja! Oh, come on. Seriously? I don't know how that happens. That's nuts. The Flippies are nuts. <laughs> but the Flippies are also serious. They're also about a time to reflect. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this little in memoriam here for the toys that never were. So if you could just give us a moment of silence, we're going to go ahead and roll that footage. Oh man, that makes me so sad. I'm just thinking of all the money I could have made. Anyway, RIP, let's move on. Next up is the Flippy Award for the 
best independent toy company that made an action figure that is easily flippable for a lot of money, okay? Flipper Frank is a fan of the entrepreneurial spirit, and so I'm going to be giving out the nominees for this award. So let's go. Nominee number one, the Cesare Berenice Combatant Figure, Female Gladiator. Nominee number two, the Valiver Scarab. And nominee number three, the Ramen Toy Quicksilver. And the winner is the Cesare Berenice. <laughs> Woo! This one won the game because I made about $110 flipping this thing online, okay? Never underestimate horny guys who secretly want to fuck their figures. They will pay lots of money on eBay. <laughs> Next up is the award for best unlicensed figure. That means companies that are not really following the rules trying to make some money, okay? But hey, who am I to begrudge them because I can still flip them. That's all that matters. But without further ado, I'm going to give you our presenter for this award. Go ahead and take it away, Mr. Crocker. Hey everyone, it's me, Crocker, from Crocker Reviews. Crocker Reviews, Crocker Reviews. Hey, did anyone hear that? <laughs> I just farted. I'm an adult. Anyway, this is cutting into my cruising for chicks time. So let's get this show on the road with the nominees for most flippable unlicensed figure. And the nominees are Fury Toy Samurai Turtle Spring, a.k.a. Not Leo. Fury Toys Crocker. <laughs> hey, that's me. And the Underground Arsenal Party Wagon. And the winner is... Oh, bullshit. Fury Toy Spring, a.k.a. Not Leo. Congrats on your win, Not Leo, I guess. Know what I think about that? <laughs> I just farted again. I still got the touch. Crocker out. Okay, now that little figure rocks. <laughs> hey, speaking of rock, remember when Chris Rock got slapped? <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> so topical. Anyway, that was a really good one. I made a $94 profit off that figure, and then 5K had the gall to re-release them, and uh, the uh, value just plummeted through the floor. But it was good while it lasted. Okay, next up is kind of another like freebie award right here. It is the best excuse when caught flipping so i'm going to be giving this out because i've used so many of these the nominees are it's for my friends it's for my facebook group and lastly i am army building and the winner is i am army building <laughs> Woo! that is a good one when you get caught just drop that one and they gotta let you slide i am army building congratulations all right we got a few awards left and next up, we are going into Mesco. Now, Mesco was kind of a sleeper hit for me. I did not think that I would be able to make the amount of money that I made off of those exclusives. But here we are. So I wanted to include them on the list. Now, I don't have any Mesco characters, so I'm going to be doing this myself. So the nominees are Theodore Sodcutter. Sure. <laughs> Atticus Doom. All right. And lastly, Death Dealer. And the winner is... Death Dealer, yeah, woo! <laughs> now, this one was a big one with $150 profit off of this guy. But all the nominees were really close. All of them flipped for nearly double. So, just giving you that tip, Mesco, unmine gold. And that is why you have earned that Flippy Award. All right, next up is a problem that just kind of came around this year because of this whole windowless packaging thing. And so I thought I would give this its own award, and that is the best hasbro windowless package swap out award that is when somebody buys a windowless package and they take out the uh really expensive figure and they put in some crap and then they return it and then you the consumer buy it okay so without further ado let's go ahead and give out the nominees and the nominees are venom null two pack with hulk and incredibles figures inside spider-man and spinneret renew your vows two pack with wrestling figures inside. And MCU Namor with Lego inside. And the winner is, by the way, these are all true. MCU Namor with Lego inside. <laughs> Man, I would be so pissed off if I opened that. But luckily, I don't collect action figures. I just flip them. So it's kind of not my problem once I make the sale. Anyway, let's move on. We got two more awards left. So let's just get into it. We cannot leave this last company out in the cold because I have made a lot of money from them. It is NECA. Specifically, their very, very lucrative Ninja Turtle line. So without further ado, let's go to our special guest presenter. I love this guy. You love this guy. Mr. Casey Jones, take it away. Hey, everyone. 
This is Casey Jones. Usually when I'm presenting something, it's my foot up some punk's ass. But this time, I'm presenting the award for most flippable NECA TMNT product of 2022. I'm a big fan of flipping, actually. I flip tables, cars, I flip foot soldiers on their necks. So it's only appropriate that they asked me. So the nominees for most flippable NECA TMNT toys are... The Secret of the U's VHS 4-Pack. The SDCC Premutation 4-Pack. And the Secret of the U's Accessory Pack. And the winner is... The Secret of the U's Accessory Pack. Man, the suspense was killing me. Speaking of suspense, I'm going to suspend some punks off a bridge by their ankles. Casey Jones signing off. All right, secret of the used accessory pack. I made about fifty to ninety dollars at the height of the heat when that thing came out. Everybody gets FOMO when those Ninja Turtle accessory packs came out. They're easy to ship. They're nice and cheap. I love it, man. Good job, NECA. Woo, making me that money. Which brings us to our last award, which I'm going to be presenting, and that is the most flippable line. Its nominees are comprised of everybody we have gone over in this whole award ceremony. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the most flippable line, the line that has made me the most money this year. I wrote it on the back of this $100 bill, and that is Mesco. Woo! <laughs> Who would have known? That company, you got to look out for them. You can make a lot of money off of that stuff specifically the exclusive stuff once it sells out it goes on ebay for twice the price you're making a hundred dollars you're making 150 dollars do not sleep on mesco and that is it the first annual flippy awards i think it was a success i wanted to just come out here at the end of the year beginning of the new year celebrate all the money i'm making celebrate all the money that you could be making and just share this with the fans because everybody knows i'm a fan myself a fan of money <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in to these flippy awards if everybody likes it and gives me enough super chat cash and likes and uh patreon stuff maybe i'll consider doing this again next year that is it have a happy new year have a Financially happy new year, and we will see you in 2023. Flipper Frank out. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow.